Somewhere over the rainbow. So in this video, we're going to be covering the basic chords and the single note melody um, in preparation for the fingerstyle video that I will be doing shortly. And, and if you're not watching this on the day of release, it should be up by now. Um, I'll link to it in the top corner just here when it's up. And this is ideal, uh, you know, basic open chords, basic melody. You can use a pick if you wish, but I'm going to be demoing this song and teaching it with the finger style, you know, the fingers that we would use for finger style um, to try and encourage more people to go into that. But if you're using a pick, just pick the notes that I say. There's, uh, there would be very little right or wrong with that. So let's start with the first line just from the chords first of all, and then we'll cover the first line melody and we'll cover each as we go. We begin on what I call a finger style G. Um, Many of you will know a G chord to be this, but this G allows us to play melodies um, because we have that first finger free. We won't be playing the melody together with this, but I think it's just really good practice for it. But anyway, you know how to play a G will work. I should also point out that I have a capo at third fret to make a couple of the stretches in the melody a little bit easier and to keep it in the key of the original from uh, the movie The Wizard of Oz. So some E minor after this, which you could do with the first two fingers or the middle two fingers. And then we have a B minor. Now the B minor should be a bar chord like this. If that's too much of a struggle for you, we want to go for the partial B minor, which is just the thinnest four strings and therefore it's the same, but rather than barring, the first finger is just on the thinnest string like this. And then if we're being really clever, right at the end of this, we could add a G7 like this. Standard G7 chord, but that only lasts a beat, so it's not, uh, not too crucial. But we'd then go to a C chord, which is a very similar shape. And then finally return to G. To give you an idea of how that would sound. So Okay, and the melody for this as tabs, the tab is available from my website, if you click that link just there, it will uh, show you where it is. Uh, the links are also in the description. We have some, and this would be the first finger, just playing the open third string. I would play middle finger, third fret of the thinnest string, and we play it with the third finger. And we're essentially going to assign, so that I don't have to shout it out all the time, uh, we're going to assign the fingers one, two, and three to strings one, two, and three, like this. So the third finger only plays the thinnest string, and that's the first bar. Somewhere over the rainbow. And that was bar two. Starting at the second fret of the thinnest string. Two, zero, three. And that's a string down, so we play it with our middle finger. Two, zero, three. Like three blind mice. Back on ourselves like a palindrome. Open two. So we went down. Da, da, da. Back up. Zero, two, three. So that's a total mir mirroring of uh, what we've just played. Somewhere over the rainbow. Bar three is almost the same as the intro, but we don't even need a hand on this side. We're just going to play the open strings. We open third string, up, open thinnest string. And then we'll play it with our middle finger again, third fret of the second string. Hi. So that's the, the first line. And those last three notes were open, third, open thinnest, middle finger at third fret, playing that second string. Second line. Uh, chords, first of all, we have a C chord. 
And then we need a C minor chord, but don't panic. Because I don't particularly like the sound of this bar chord, the C minor bar chord, in this context. I prefer this little strum or a little pluck, which is a C minor uh, with an E flat in the bass, if we're being technical. But it's nice and easy. Middle finger, first fret of the second string. First finger, two strings above it. Don't play the thinnest string, because it'll sound awful. Just play those three strings, string two, three, and four. And that would be a C. And the C minor. Then G, finger style G again, at bar six. Land that I heard of. E minor. A minor. Once in a D chord. And then G the word by that one more time C C minor little G in way G then E minor A minor to a D chord G the melody there's a Let's play this one with the thumb, actually, because it's on the thicker three strings and a principle of fingerstyle guitar. Uh, one of them is to try and play the thicker three strings always with your thumb. So let's play this one. There's a fifth fret. Uh, first finger, second string, middle finger here. Open. Third string, open two. Open one. This would be a uh, bar six. Land that I heard of. And then bar seven, once. Now then we have a fourth fret, which would be here. Okay, we do have a dot here on my guitar, but this would be fourth fret proportionate to that capo. But the line before it means we slide up to it. We could slide one fret or two frets. Typically, we want to go two frets. Once in a la la by. Lots of open strings on that bit. That one more time from bar seven. Once sliding. Open third. And then the open third string again. And then we have all that same thing happens again. So that bars one to eight are so important, whether you're going for this simpler version or my full finger style version. Those first eight bars are where the main melody is, all the main parts of the song are, are there, and they are repeated three times, even if you just play it as written. But if you wanted to make this piece longer, you could just repeat them more. So uh, they're so important. Let's have a play through from the top with the chords first of all and then with the melody so we can see how they both work together so play through from the top with chords two three four somewhere over the rain cheeky g7 c way up high is a g Line two, bar five. C, C minor, G, E minor, A minor, D, and G. Melody. Somewhere. Open string, two, three, four. Somewhere over the rainbow Way up high There's a land that I heard of once And all of
suppose that would happen again, just with slightly different lyrics, but it's the same melody on the guitar. So we can go from the end of bar 9. The end of bar 9 into bar 10 goes like this. This open to 3 section at bar 10. And it happens 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then in bar 11, we go from the first finger to the third finger at fret 1 and fret 3. 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3. Again, it's 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that one more time, bar, the end of bar 9, well, at all of bar 9, bar 10 and 11. True. Someday I'll wish And wake up Hind me And then we have those two over the A minor and the D. We're going to pause there um, because that means we just don't play. Those two are called rests. And then it's almost the same thing again but we have where troubles melt like lemon drops at 14th fret and then we just keep our middle finger down where it would be on an A chord you know on the same notes but we're going to play it with our middle finger you could use other fingers if you like but I'm just going to use my middle and then we go between string 2 and, st and string 1 way above the chimney tops that and that's with our middle finger and then third finger middle third middle third min middle third middle third middle third middle third okay and then bar 16 where you'll find me two two fifth fret open and this should be fairly straightforward, but in chords, that would be a fingerstyle G chord. And you could play the melody on the little finger. That's what we're doing in the fingerstyle version. And then to an A7. G6 is a G strumming all six strings and only playing the thicker two notes here. We're not playing the little finger at all. The Beatles chord. Behind me A minor to a D chord G again when this is bar 14 when troubles melt like lemon drops A could play an A7 but let's just play a standard A major either this way or this way oh way above the chimney tops B minor when you could play the other one that's where now we have something called an F sharp or augmented chord here. Now we have something called an F sharp augmented chord here. I won't go into what augmented chords are, but the way we're going to play this particular one is just by shuffling our fingers like this. Tricky wiki, I know, but we're going to the meaty bit of this song. That's where that's a B minor. Swap the fingers. Sharp augmented chord, so first finger is where it was on the B minor, and these two, you sort of play an A minor chord, but starting with the first finger at the second fret of the thinnest string, and then the little finger stretches to the fourth fret, fourth string. And then an A7 to a D chord. And then continuing it from there, bar 18, it's the same as the beginning, but if we were to treat it as the beginning rather than bar 8, we'd go straight to bar 9. It's like the second repetition of the beginning. So we have some E minor, B minor, if we're being clever, play a G7. But you don't need that G7 there strictly, it'd be fine without. Bar 20, a C. Blue birds, and then a G chord. Bar 22. 
good C minor, that cheating little C minor before, but we really dig it. Fly G chord to E minor. Why then, oh, why can't I? So, fairly straightforward how the chords go at the end there. Happy little bluebirds fly. Oh, but that's an A minor. D chord, why, oh, why can't I? Okay, and from a chords point of view, at the ending, to do it like my performance, we can tap at uh, the 15th fret, keep the chord down. Tap the strings at the 15th fret, which is the first dot above the double dot on the guitar, and just tap on the 15th fret, the higher part, on the, on the actual metal strip. And you sound, again, a bit clever. Something a bit... something a bit different. The melody for that ending is exactly the same, so if we go for bar 18, it's exactly the same as the beginning of the song. The same, bar 22, birds fly over the rainbow, why slide, oh why can't I? Ending, if, so this is the end of bar 25 to bar 26, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, three, one, three, one, three, open, three, and then strum a G, because we may as well, because it's the end of the song, and give it a tap. Now one more time, if, and this is open, to third fret of the second string played by the middle finger, happy little bluebirds fly beyond, the rainbow, why, oh, why can't I? And that is how to play Somewhere Over the Rainbow, my easy chords and uh, melody arrangement. Um, it would be ideal to just place and strum on the beat if you want a strumming pattern for this. Over the Just be strumming the beat, you know, four strums per bar, sometimes two strums per chord, sometimes four. But after that, play the melody over it, play the melody along to the Judy Garland version or to my cover, and then try and get onto this fingerstyle version, and I think you'll have a lot of success with it. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't already.